What's going on, everyone? Badger here. Make sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. Uh, you know, first they came for the comic books, then the movies and televisions. Quietly, they've been coming for the games all along, but now they're making some progress, real progress. We've all caught on to it. We're resisting quite significantly. And uh, here we have in another line of saying the quiet part out loud while doubling down, BBC's Jules Hardy calls for purge purge against gamers opposing sweet baby inks force dei uh and i don't know why they chose that picture but uh seems like something uh, she would post uh in a show of force from institutionalized power the bbc gaming presenter jules hardy weighed in on the ongoing scandal surrounding sweet baby inc advocating for what she calls a final purge of ideological opponents and it is an ideological war make no doubt about that uh, of opponents within the gaming community bbc gaming presenter jules hardy known for her roles as the host of top gear gaming show and the gaming show posted her support for institutionalized oppression of ideological opponents on X in response to a tweet from subversive DEI narrative consultation company, Black Girl Gamers. Re and of course, he says, retweeting a now deleted post, which we have right here. Uh, user Becky, and then a bunch of numbers, shared a screenshot to social media platform of Steam group and curation list that was to inform the gamers. Of, this is, of course, the Steam uh, Sweet Baby Inc. detected. Black Girls Gamers had worked on one of them. The user wrote, Black Girl Gamers, you wanted to defend Sweet Baby Inc. with all you could possible. Well, here is your page because you wanted to finish Sweet Baby Inc. when I know that you both work together on projects and force DEI is nothing more than racism. Interestingly, the user was created in March and the Steam group and curator list does not appear to exist anymore. Uh, that was back then. But so here is the original uh, posting of that, calling them out. Uh, nevertheless, Black Girl Gamers responded to the post writing, we really got you pressed by just existing, laugh out loud. We've never worked with Sweet Baby Inc. You all saw Black and consulting and decided that we all work together. Sounds like racism. We're not stopping, so have fun. Hardy, who hosts the CBV uh, C show, Game on Grandparents and BBC's Top Gear Gaming, blah, 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 re reacted to Black Girl Gamers post writing, can we agree that for round two of this, it can be the final purge of these kinds of gamers? She added, it's 2024. I've been arguing about this for decades. Can we have, well, I don't know about decades, but can we have a full detox of these dudes so we can get back to the positive gaming community we have been the positive gaming community, okay? Uh, in response to a query from YouTuber Melanie Mack, Hardy explained what she meant by final purge. Mm. Mac wrote, AKA, you want to purge real gamers in favor of act. Now, this is true. And you could switch out gamers with people who watch television shows or movies. They always want to switch out the actual core audience with their, their people that are receptive to their inclusion and representation, i.e. other activists, who turns out don't spend money the way the people that are doing this just because they like the content. Uh, Mac wrote, AKA, you want to purge real gamers in favor of activists who can't hang in a multiplayer lobby without having a meltdown or who can't navigate a single player game without yellow paint, shiny ledges, and the character telling them what to do. Facts. Uh, Hardy responded, nah, I want to purge the hate and vitriol from gamers who you would have never survived in a, a, a modern warfare Call of Duty uh uh, party chat at all. Uh, sorry, she says, I want to purge the hate and vitriol from gamers who refuse to allow gaming to evolve and adapt as we humans are doing. Evolving and adapting are natural processes that happen in uh, from stimulation and stimuli from your environment. This is forced based on an ideology that not a lot of people actually follow. It's not natural. Um, <laughs> I have no problem with opposing viewpoints, but hate violence and aggressive behavior is exactly what's called for in many video games if you haven't actually played any of them uh go play dead uh, <laughs> go play elder elden ring or any of the dead souls and tell me violence and aggressive and eventually hate aren't part of it uh yeah yeah, yeah. okay 
Uh, ironically, black girl gamers appeared to discriminate in their hiring practices just last month. And of course, this is when they were talking about uh, originally Lanny, Danny LaLanders, how she only hired black people uh, for her game because she only feels safe around people that look like her. Uh, not only has black girl gamers gamers seemingly discriminated in its hiring process, but the company's founder, J.N. Lopez, made it clear in an interview in Game Rant 2023 that she's annoyed by white characters in video games. Yeah, and this is in a connection to the uh, story we did earlier, that game Haven, where there's just not even any white characters by default at all. There will be a full character creator eventually, but you're going to have to go through the trouble of making a male as pale and stale character. Uh, she was asked, were there any video games that made you wish the character was a woman of color or a black woman? Lopez responded, I would flip the whole premise of a number of games, especially the ones that go into countries and get their relics. Oh, Tomb Raider. Uh, I would flip that on their head. There's always been a dream of mine in general, but to be honest, no, I'm not averse to having white characters. I'm just annoyed at how prevalent they are. So there's too many, uh, just too many white people is what she's saying. She's annoyed by that. That's fine. And I wanted to see back here continuing on with the uh, her calling for the purge. Here we go. Uh, after that happened, here uh, Grums, who's been who's been hitting it hard. Gamergate two just got real, too real. The BBC are now calling for a final purge. If you oppose Sweet Baby Inc., the mask is off. This is the cultural revolution. It's do or die, and it is the cultural. It's what they want. It's what we keep talking about when, uh, you know, Larry Flink of BlackRock, who is one of the people help doing this, uh, pushing these ESG uh, requirements so that you can get their ESG money and games are hard and expensive. So they capitulate and they do this often to themselves, game studios, and then they call in after it's already ruined uh, so they can get all the money they can from the ESG. They will hire a black girl gamers or a sweet baby ink. But again, the call is coming from inside the house. It's already corrupted for these reasons. And the reason they do it, like we've always said again is, is and as Larry Fink has said, if you want to change the culture of a firm, you need to echo that change everywhere you look. That means they want to echo that change everywhere in our culture, from our games, to our comics, to our movies, our TV shows, our books, everything. So everywhere you look, it's the message. You can't escape from it. Uh, I like that Grums is calling it out. Uh, so yeah, w what do you think of this? Obviously, when she says a purge, I uh, she really thinks that somehow, see, that's the thing, is if she really means this, we'll take her in her best case. She means a purge on X, that everyone is going to be blocked or banned. Well, guess what? You don't have the same uh, juice on that platform that you did. Elon is there. Community notes are there. And they're stopping you. That's one of the reasons we have been as successful as we have been is because uh, all those legacy gaming journalists, journalists, they don't have the same power. They don't have the same clout. Uh, it, it's one of the reasons they're trying to go after us is because they're looking for clout for us. Thankfully, Melanie Mack has said she's not going to be interviewing with Alyssa Mercante, Mercante uh, and, and she's going to not be commenting on it anymore. So I'm fine with that. Let's just let these people wither on the vine and uh, they will continue to say the quiet part out loud. And we will continue to show it. So let me know what you think of this. Make sure to like, share and sub. If you've done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. and. Well, bye.